All right, folks, we're back. Week. Who knows what the heck this is, but we're almost at uh, Battlefield Fight League 80. We've got three questions with the president. I opened it up into social media actually today, and we've got a few questions from a few people on social media for President Jay Golshani. Jay, thanks for joining me today, man. Nice to be back on. What's going on? Not much. You still busy? I heard Demko's out for the playoffs. Is that oh, true? Oh, my God. Don't even get me started on that. Yeah. Well, not necessarily for the playoffs, but definitely for tonight's game. And they say potentially for the series. So we'll see. Luckily, we got a couple backup options, but they're not Demko. So who the heck knows? A little nervous. Not a well, no, not a... nothing, so. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. All right. First question we got here, Adam Posner. Uh, he's a guy that I've talked to you about before. He's got a big fight coming up at Battlefield Fight League 80 against David Briones. I interviewed him as well. And I know that you guys are marketing this as like his the biggest fight. Obviously, it's a huge step up in competition. You spoke to him. You've spoken to uh, and said things like this kid, you know, it, the step up in competition is enormous. Uh, in terms of who he's going against, because he's what two and zero, right? So one and zero, which is even crazier to go against the guy who went against Navid. Now, in the hundred and seventy pound division, if he were to get a victory in this fight, how close would he be to a title shot? With the fact that he's taking on David Briones, who fought Navid, who ultimately is every fight inching closer to a title shot. Um. Well, Briones uh, fought Navid at the 55s, but if he wins this fight, he'll probably face, besides Dan or Ash, those two guys he trains with regularly, he would he would face a top five guy. If his camp feels he's ready, he wins, then he fights for a title. It's that simple. So you would say that by the end of 2024, he could fight for a title? Not necessarily, because it depends if Dan vacates the title and retires or he keeps going, because as long as Dan is the champion and they're not going to fight each other, Adam can't fight for the title. Makes complete sense. All right. Well, let's get away from that one then, because that's an exciting fight in itself. And I think it does have definite um, implications for the division in itself. But let's get to the next question here then. And it is from Adam Posner. He posted... Dan Rodrigo, could that fight still happen? Um, I know Dan wants to fight, and then Rodrigo said the the thing. I don't think it could happen because Rodrigo is at the sixty fives. Dan is the hundred seventy and seventy five champion. They're no longer in the same weight class because Rodrigo is his optimal weight is probably the one fifty five for the UFC or or the next level. So, no, I don't think that kind of fight would happen. But if it was at 170 and Rodrigo wanted to go back up to Walter Wade, definitely could happen, yes. Do you think that those two in the same room will be bad blood? No, I mean, we've had a lot worse throughout the years, that, that, that way worse than that. I think people just have heated exchanges and then they figure, out, figure it out. This is what they do, right? They fight. So it's not a big deal if they get into and altercation outside the cage because it's not like it's, it's just something happened in the jiu-jitsu tournament and i think i think they've been both coaching or i think last event rodrigo was fighting and dan was coaching and they were in the same room and nothing nothing happened so you you spoke about you know if, if rodrigo were to go to the ufc so sort of touching on that adam actually asked me in a follow-up question on instagram as well who are some of the guys not necessarily on this fight card, but they could be on this fight card that you think would be next to step inside that Dana White contender series. There's a lot of guys, but if you're going just this card, obviously um, you got Caleb versus Radley. Caleb for certain, if he wins, he's going with his record, right? Unless it's a super, super, because that's seven in a row, wins over in Prado, a win over Radley. 12 and 4, the camp from is from, it's almost, it's almost the given. He might not even go to the container and go straight to the UFC. Radley, if he wins in an impressive fashion, he could get in if he shows a little bit, like if he wins by, not by a decision, he might get in at 5 and 1. It's always not enough experience, but looking at the guys he's beat, John, uh, Maxime, um, uh, Caleb, if he wins, I mean, that resume, so he might, he might, 
I mean, anytime you're at eight and three, you go nine and three, you got the belt, you've defended it. Ali's got a chance. His opponent has a chance, right? With a big record like that. And uh, Rodrigo Dario, maybe the winner has a chance at, at 155, right? Because 165 is not a weight class. It all depends how the how that fight goes. And how, it's not just winning, it's how you win. That's exactly right. what I what I was going to say is, you know, you're talking about these guys and you're saying it's, you know, if they win impressively, right? Because Dana White's contender series is different than making the ultimate fighter or being called up to the UFC in a last minute sort of replacement fight to make the contender series. You have to make a statement in your in your victories, right? You're not going to get there by snooze in the crowd. Um, no, unless it's two really, really good guys, high level uh, guys going against each other, then, then, then they might. But it's very, it's like you said, it's very rare. For sure. All right. Last question we got for you. Question number three comes from B Mike BJJ. He, Mike from uh, Revolution Mission. He's the jujitsu coach out there. He asks, "Are you going to bring back jujitsu matches in the cage?" And before I get your answer for that. I'll follow up with that because, you know, you guys have kickboxing, you have the Muay Thai, you have MMA. We see one championship bring belts for jiu-jitsu and they have like the Cade and the Tai Rutolo brothers and, and all these guys with one championship belts for jiu-jitsu. Could that ever come back for Battlefield Fight League? So we wanted to just to add a little bit um, exposure to the card, bring some big, big name guys to do like a grappling super fight as part of the card. For example, we wanted to do maybe like, this is this is like a year and a half ago, we discussed it with Fight Pass. We, we proposed if we could get it done, could we do Carlos Condit and Rory McDonald in a grappling match, right? Um, and they don't really want to mix like the boxing and MMA because certain promotions just do the grappling and stuff. So they said, if you have like a super fight like that with no names, or if it was like Bibiano versus somebody known, um, we could have it as the fight pass portion on the fight pass. But I mean, just to bring extra exposure, if, if we have like high level guys for a belt or something, that's definitely what we would do, but we would it would be like the main event of the undercard on the YouTube right before we go fight pass. Unless it's a massive like two X UFC guys or big names, then we can put it on fight pass, but only under those conditions we can do like super fight grappling on fight pass because they don't want to mix the product, right? For sure, that makes sense. And I mean like you do amateur championships on the on the preliminary card and on the undercard so there are with the fact that grappling is growing so big here in the lower mainland like there are gyms on every friggin street of the of vancouver nowadays like grappling is huge and adcc has blown up tickets sold out in minutes to adcc so i could see it being highly popularized and i could see if you put it out there on social media that you wanted jujitsu guys and you know maybe if you guys were going to implement a title that it would draw some different eyes potentially to battlefield fight league let's do it then bfl 81 will do two grappling matches on the undercard <laughs> done we'll, just, we'll, we'll get a poll and then we'll we'll do a vote to see we'll we'll get a bunch of names and then we'll have fans vote in the weight class whoever ranks highest to face each other that's how we'll do the matchup and depending on how good they are we might we might just start off with a belt amazing you heard it here first battlefield fight league 81 grappling championship potentially all right there's our three questions there's our three answers that does it for this week jay we got a couple more weeks until fight week. Uh, anything go down this week? I mean, I, there's a fight cancellation, yeah? Yeah, so Batra is out. So now we are down to, um, I mean, we are still looking for Raf. He's looking at a couple of options if they accept. Maybe we'll, right now we are down to nine pro fights, five title fights, three amateur title fights, two other. It's still a stack, stack, stack. Oh, yeah. But, but again, every you don't want to miss like Batra and Ulet that's one of the fights like every fight we want to have but we lost that one for now so it's unfortunate and are there any names to the mix like for raf that that are local or is it guys that you're trying to bring in for him um he he said there was a 55er that fought on arjun's card last weekend in vancouver that won the fight um he said he contacted him they're talking we're just waiting to see if he wants to accept the fight we'll send him the contract he hasn't got back that's the only name i think with medicals and being in shape, that is for sure would get approved. But besides that, we don't have any um, leads yet, no. 
Makes sense. As I said, Battlefield Fight League 80 goes down May 9th. UFC Fight Pass is the main card. Battlefield Fight League 81. Breaking news here. We might have a grappling championship on our hands. That does it for three questions this week. We got two more weeks until the, the event itself, so we'll try to get two more shows in. Uh, social media, follow us. Follow Battlefield Fight League, and make sure you like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. That does it for this week, folks. <laughs>